Hello everyone, welcome to Fijian Investment Trading, known as Fijian Trader. This is Mr. Singh. OCGN, what a phenomenal week we had, folks, and we are not done yet. But before I talk on the technical side, aloha, mahalo, all the way from Kona Islands. As, as I mentioned in my previous video, now we're going on the vacation, but I will be providing updates on my vacation, and I'm doing it all the way from Hawaii Islands. Go ahead and watch the short videos that I did, what I'm doing, and what's going on. I'm excited because this is just a start with OCGN and I've mentioned it on my previous videos about the breakout points, what's coming up, what's going on, and we are not done yet. We are not done yet. Folks, let's talk on the fundamental side and then also we're going to talk on the technical side because that's the bread and butter. That is some of the key things. Folks, we know I mentioned it on my previous video also about the clinical trial coming up. And the update is going to be more provided by Mr. Shankar on the 21st. So 21st, that's on Wednesday. Market is closed on Monday. So Tuesday, we're going to be heating up. Wednesday is going to heat up again. So a whole week is going to be heating up on OCG and stock. And it's going to be going crazy. So buckle up, fasten your seatbelt because it's going to be an enjoyable ride coming through. So <coughs> excuse me, folks. I'm just excited. I'm just excited because finally we have seen a break and I'm so excited on the technical side as well. So mark your calendar. As I mentioned in the previous video, I'm still mentioning it because it is very, very important because they're going to be talking about OCG 400 phase 3 trial, clinical trial, which was starting in early 2024 and what is the plan going to look like. Also, on we still have a strong buy, right? It is a rating of seven dollars. My rating is up to ten dollars and plus on OCG and stock. These are the three uh, firms have made recommendations, and they are big weeks, right? Especially HC Ren Ride. It is a big player when they do any analysis, on either strong buy, sell, neutral, whatever is the case is. Um, next one, right? I want to show you guys how from the January from end of January how we are moving up all the way from 54 cents 57 54 56 55 55 52 50 did a little pull over here and 52 when we had we're around here and I was started mentioning hey go hey folks that we are seeing a breakout point right where the 250 day EMA was merging up and was going up so crazy we made a crazy run from the 12th um, all the way to the 16 in three days from 53 cents to 94 cents the high of the Friday was 98 cents and we are not done yet folks we are not done yet also um, keep it the same you know nothing changes on that even this, even the low average and highest target is seven dollars it stock should be like I said up to ten dollars which is my target price on that Let's talk on the technical side, folks. I'm excited. I'm pumped because I invested in also on this stock. And I granted, I came in the game a little late, and but I've been trading OCGN for past five years. And time and time, I have took my losses. I have gained a, a lot of gains on that. And I have understand this company and especially how the stock patterns of this stock how it traded and it is trading phenomenal this is the five week day you can see my resistance level was sitting at 58 cents uh, that we wanted to break out uh, support level and the next one was 62 cents and you can clearly see that we were struggling in between for two days and boom we broke out we broke out all the way to 98 cents as i mentioned that uh, was on friday high and was making higher highs and we closed about 64 cents after market you're looking at about uh, sorry 60 uh, 94 cents and after market was 96 cents this is just a start folks just a start one month right you're gonna see a uptrend right and you want to see this right making higher highs pull back making higher highs higher lows and making steady light and we made this climb up and the kind of was trading in between these two resistance i talked about my support resistance level was sitting at 78 uh, 78 cents 78 dollars would be great uh and then 89 cents both were broken were trashed and into the dumpster and which i really loved about it and what we're gonna do is gonna we're gonna change it to our support level now and this one is also i'm gonna keep it at 89 cents for now it's something to keep an eye moving because I want to see how it's going to trade on Tuesday. 
which I have no doubt that it will be smashing it, right? Uh, people have been taking profits out throughout the way and won't be surprised where it's going uh, Going with. See, RSI got cooled off. We are sitting at 89. Uh, right up here is the about 105 rating, right? We still have a lot of room to left, but you might see once we touch about one. One fifteen dollar fifteen cents. You might have some pullback coming back all the way to uh, at least ninety five cents because people will be taking shares out and making higher highs and higher lows, which is very common, especially on the penny stocks like that. This stock should not be a penny stock in my books, right? It should be a double digit stock, and it it will be there at any time. So six months. It's same thing we talked about that uh, you can clearly see that how time and time has broke it and it's not holding it So one year right stay home folks stay home. Don't go anywhere because this is very key, right? This is very key and why we're we gonna have big weeks coming in and I'll tell you why right because now we are trading This is my pink line right which is my 200 day email you can clearly see that it was acting as a massive resistance level and guess what we broke through uh the i was back in january in january not far along on january 9 where we were testing and we broke we couldn't break it and we came all the way low of 48 cents and now we are sitting and that one is sitting at 63 cents so that's a big gap in between that and which i really like about it rsi is still pointing up and is going all the way high so what is the next level right because if you go to the ea today there's not a much on that but this is i wanted to keep an eye i want to show you guys where are we gonna what be looking at because from last year right uh, all the way to may we were sitting at 78 cents and i understand people pain so right here is going to be the dollar five cents so dollar five cents is um it's going to be our next so uh, resistance level we got to break we got to break that next resistance level sitting at dollar five cents and i'm gonna have it right up here so dollar five cents we got to break that and we're gonna see how uh, it will be the next one to keep right so but I'm gonna change this one as make it a support level so we are know that it's gonna be our next support level dollar five cents is the next one we got to keep an eye and then uh, right after that there's two key levels right it's right up here that is the dollar five cents and then all the way we're gonna make it a dollar forty cents folks dollar forty cents we're gonna be having here right up here at dollar forty cents oh my god that's what i'm talking about folks dollar 40 cents and then we're gonna be testing on that so i won't be surprised when we break that dollar five cents have some pullbacks back again and making higher highs higher lows but you can clearly see that i'm going all the way back right i'm pulling it all the way to 2023 uh and then go making all the way to 2022 you can see how much how, how much pain we have been because the pink, uh, the uh, my blue line, which is my 60-day EMA, was acting as a massive, massive, <coughs> excuse me, resistance level, and we're far off from that. And dollar 88 cents, it was, it was sitting right around that. So you can clearly see that we were on the biggest downtrend, but this is a reversal. This is a reversal. This is not a fake reversal. And this is a great reversal coming through. The only thing we need to have this is this thing. In order to see a double digit stock, we need this one to cross over now. Cross over right over the pink because that's it is an exact confirmation. Now it is going to be go making higher highs and higher lows. But we have not seen it. We, this is only the five days. But on the five days, you can clearly see that, right? On the five days, we are trading that. The pink line is below and the blue line is right up here and i mentioned it folks as soon as we were right over here and i said folks we are about to have the breakout because i've seen it it was sitting uh the the blue line it was sitting uh on top uh, below on the pink line which we wanted that is an uptrend pattern and it has that big gap we want these big gaps in between them we don't want to be tagging alone because then there's a big gap means it's gonna rocket it's gonna move rapidly and making higher highs and higher lows at the same time a uh, couple things before I let you guys go, folks. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, turn on the notification. I'm here for the long run. I'm not going anywhere. I'm providing my video. Next video is coming for Fiji Islands. So I'm going to do my short videos from there. Also, also I'm going to do a video from there back home. And have any questions about those beautiful islands, please feel free to ask me anything. I'm here. I'm here for the long run. I'm not going anywhere. Check out my portfolios that I have done. It. I, I do a lot of trade on Tesla, Mara, Bitco uh, Bitcoin, uh, Neo. Carnival plug and I talk about my portfolios 
Folks, this is just a start with OCGM. This is just a start. This stock has its a capability of a double digits. So have a plan where you want to sell it. I know where my target is, where I'm going to sell some of my shares, which is a $10 level, which I'm sticking to it and I'm keeping it that way, right? So that is my level on that and something to keep an eye for you guys too. If it's you have your plan, I'm sure you have it. If you're coming to an, a point that you know there's a dip happens do not panic because it is very common you'll see like i said it comes to dollar five you might see pull back to 95 cents right and you will see that it is people are locking shares but people do panic it's like no i'm at sitting at 55 cents or i bought it at 34 cents i better sell it right now because i don't want to lose more gains patience is the key when you trade because it is very because that's it is on a successful mode right because when it's on a red people do not sell it they hold it because they're expecting to go high but when they go high people have to start selling start dipping people get panic it's like no 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 i don't want to lose the gains right this is very common very very common on trading stocks so patience is key like i said have your own target my target is just ten dollars i'm not a financial advisor just my due diligence and, and my fundamentals on the stock trading and this is how what i do it and this is how i will be doing it as well so 105 is the next target to break out then after that going all the way to dollar 40 cents folks dollar 40 folks thank you guys for watching it please have a wonderful day weekend i know you guys are long three-day weekend market is closed so enjoy relax chill Drink some beer, drink some wine, drink some water, whatever you have, and just enjoy the ride. This is a beautiful ride. It's about to happen. It's just started, it's, and it's not over yet. It's not over yet. So thank you, folks. Have a great day.